this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to fix tan lines, which is to adjust uh, someone's skin tone so that you are making the skin tone uh, all the same. So you're essentially going to tan the untanned parts. So uh, let me show you how this works. Right. So here you have a pretty bad case here of the, uh, you know, just like the neck um, tan here. So obviously he just uh, wore the uh, the t-shirt uh, with uh, with uh, that neckline there. So we have to fix that part. And the first thing we need to do is uh, just go into image mode and change that to lab color. So we want to change from RGB, which all your uh, images would be uh, on. You want to change it to uh, lab color. And uh, the reason for, for changing it to this mode is that it's a little bit easier to make uh, some of the modifications that we need to do. Right, so what we need to do now is uh, open, um, have our eyedropper uh, tool selected here. And now we're going to make two selections. We're going to make a selection of the tanned area and of the untanned area, right? Now here we have a tanned area here and the untanned here. And we also have a bit of a difference here in, in the shade. So we have here and here. So you can take your pick what you, you want to do. I'm just going to pick here on the shade area because it's a little bit easier. But uh, on either way, just make sure that you're taking the light is uh, even. It's the same, right? So if you're on the shade, just pick the shade areas here. Now what we're going to do is uh, holding down the shift button, we're going to click in the tanned area and we're going to shift and click in the um, non-tanned area. And uh, what you want to do here is uh, set your sample size here for an average of uh, 5 by 5 average. If your sample size might be uh, by default on point sample, you want to change it to 5 by 5. So you get more of a, a general uh, selection. It evens out by 5 pixels the, the color that it is instead of just picking one specific spot, which might pick on a freckle and so forth. So now that we've shift selected, we have a 1 and a 2 here. We can see that we have our selection number 1. And and our selection number two. And the goal is to make the A and the B here match the A and the B here. So that's the first step that we're going to do. And uh, we're going to do that by uh, going into our adjustment layers and putting in levels. Now I'm just going to click OK now for now because I just want to show you here in the uh, info palette. We want to jot down here the um, the, the, the numbers. We want to memorize the numbers here. So we have 15 and 9, right? Right now it's 8 minus 3. And we just want to memorize here, A is 15 and B is 9 for this specific image here. So 15 and 9. Right, now we'll just open up our levels. Now with A, it was 15, right? So now what we need to do is uh, just open up that uh, info palette. And now we're, just, we're going to move this uh, slider here until we get to 15. So there we are, we've got to 15 here. Don't pay attention to the fact that it changed here the value of the A because we're going to make the adjustments a little bit later into uh, selecting only the white areas to make them tanned and leave the rest unchanged. But for now, we've set it to 15 and now we need to change the B to 9. Right now it's at negative 3. So again, we're just going to move the slider here and we're going to move it till we reach 9. So there we are. Okay, 15 and 9, that's what we needed to do. We're going to head and now we just selected A and B. Now we're going to go into lightness. And with lightness, we're going to move this middle slider here. But we're only going to move the middle slider so that the, uh, so that the color can uh, seem the same. This color here, the same as this one. And it's easier to do this modification if you do a little trick here. We're just going to click OK without making any modifications. We're going to go into the layers palette. And then with uh, uh, layer mask and the level selected, we're just going to fill that in with all with black. So that's alt and backspace so that we've essentially masked out the difference that we're making here. Now with the brush tool, I'm going to select a big enough brush and I'm going to paint with white so you can see it right. So this is the modification and this is the original tan. Now I want to go into lightness and move my slider, this slider here in the middle, over to the right so that the tonality matches the tonality of this. So we're not paying attention to any numbers. We're just trying to match the tonality. So uh, it's just a matter of just playing around with it and uh, seeing where you can go. Now, obviously, you can always change this, which is a good point. So if you think you've, you've, you've gotten it quite right and then it's slightly off, you can always go back and change. I think this is, let me just point it a little bit more here. I think this is about right, right here. Okay. I'm going to click OK. 
And now what we want to do is just paint them over with that, uh, with the new tan, if you will. Now it's, uh, some people might find it easier to, uh, depending on what image you have, to just use some form of a selection tool to select the person. I'll do that as well. So I'm just gonna fill this in with black again so we don't have anything. And, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna use a quick, uh, selection tool here, but you might as well, you could use the, uh, magnetic lasso tool or the magic wand. And you just want to very um, roughly uh, select him, basically. You want to select just the parts that are, uh, you know, supposed to be white, just the white skin. But uh, don't, you know, don't uh, be worried if you select too much of the tanned area and so forth. We just want to get, basically, just to speed this up, we are already making the selection around him, which, uh, you know, is, is a good, good amount of help. So um, I'll just uh, select here the little curve. There we are. Okay, that's good enough. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with black, with white. So that's alt and backspace because I have my white as my foreground color here. And uh, I'll deselect now. So as you can see, we kind of, we fixed it, but then the tanned area is uh, is still being affected. So now all we need to do is uh, go back in with our brush. And uh, at 100% opacity, of course, is uh, we need to remove that. And uh, don't don't worry about the edges for now. Just uh, try to remove as much of the tan from the, the extra tan from the tan, if you will. Um, and uh, the way to fix this little border area here is just to remove, to uh, decrease the opacity to something like 20%. Use a bigger brush and then just keep on clicking until that uh, line that used to be very perceivable. Um, disappears. So basically you're just removing 20%. And if you get into some areas that you're overdoing it, you can always go back in um, with a lower percentage and uh, and remove that. So it's a bit fidgety here. This uh, It's not an exact science, of course, but uh, we just want to be making things uh, as natural as possible. And it's just a matter of how much time you want to actually dedicate to doing this. So, um, you know, a quick job can be had, won't look uh, amazing, but uh, you know, you can fix these things. And uh, if you want to be a little bit pickier, then you can uh, get a pretty close match. So there we are. I think that's it's a pretty good um, match here for what we wanted to do. So that is the before, and that is the after. So that's a pretty good fix there to remove that tan line. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.